Hi everyone and welcome to my live creative time today. My name is Mandy Witherby from Mandy's Papercraft Creations and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. It's great to have you with me today. Thank you for being here whether or not you are watching live or watching the replay on Facebook or watching the replay over on YouTube because I do upload all of my videos over there as well. Um, if you are watching over on YouTube and you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd love it if you would do that if you like what you see today. Um, you can click on the subscribe button which is just down below the video here and then you'll see a little bell icon there too. If you click on that bell icon then you'll get notified every time I upload a new video so you'll never miss out on anything. Now I feel like my camera is a little bit low today for some reason. I think I haven't got it up as high, but hopefully we'll be all good. And um, oh, hey, Matthew, how are you? Great to have you with us today. So while everyone is finding that notification and jumping on, I'm just going to bring this up on my iPad so that I can see all of your comments there. So let me just, oh, uh, let me hang on one sec. I think that's in the wrong profile. Go out of that. Oh no, that's the right one. Okay, great. Good. Now I can see all of your comments down there. Fantastic. Hi, Tina Marie. How are you today? Good to have you with us. Hey, Megan. How are you? Uh, oh, you're building the Razor Crest out of Lego today. That sounds like lots of fun. It's great to know that there are other Lego lovers out there. Um, we have some Lego lovers here at home too. So that is pretty exciting. Uh, Matthew says he's very good thank you that's great to hear Matthew all right do you know what I'm going to lift this camera up a little bit because I feel like it is a little bit too low bear with me if you get dizzy look away for a moment I think I've got it too low and I feel like I'm looking down there we go just a little bit just a little bit okay let's see if that is better Okay, as long as I'm not chopping my head off, that's all. <laughs> there we go. Now I, now I feel like I'm, I'm looking straight at you. I'm looking eye to eye with you. <laughs> so I was looking down at my camera, and that's never a good view. So all good. All righty. So I have got, oh, Tina Marie says she's feeling very organized today. She's got dinner in the slow cooker already. Well done. Do you know what? I have a slow cooker, and I never use it. When I first got it, I used it to cook um, some bone broth and soups and things like that. And since then, I've never actually used it. So I need some encouragement. I need some good recipes. So if you've got any good recipes out there that you know of, let me know. Um, yeah, I really would love to use my slow cooker and utilize it a bit better. It would help me with, with my work-life balance too, I think. <laughs> I could put it on in the morning and let it cook all day while I'm working away. Um, oh, Tina Marie said that angle is much better. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I'm glad that I adjusted it. I need to put a new little mark on my um, my stand because I put a little mark there so I know what height to have it at, but I obviously didn't have it quite right. So I'll have to put a new mark on there. Um, Megan says she went to an exhibit and got Boba Fett's ship and the Razor Crest mini model, which made up for de-opping my nearly completed Master Yoda model of the table. Wow! Spent almost six weeks making it. Oh my goodness! Wow, that's amazing. You'll have to send me some photos when it's all done, Megan. Although you probably put them on Instagram anyway. I'll probably see them there, hey? Oh, that sounds awesome. Hi, Rose. How are you going? Great to have you with us today. Um... Oh, Tina said she stole tonight's recipe because she's making something in the slow cooker in case you missed that earlier. Um, she stole tonight's recipe from a friend. It's a potato gem pie, a bit like a quiche. Oh, yummy. Sounds so good. Making me hungry. <laughs> hey, Julie, how you going? Great to have you with us today. So I have got some new goodies to share with you today. I'm so excited. And I've even got some projects already made with some of those products. Just a few because we only just opened the box. I think it was Friday. And then Saturday, 
um, I actually attended a virtual Stampin' Up! event, which is for demonstrators only. It's one of the perks of being a demonstrator. Um, and we had an event on Saturday, which was fantastic. And we saw some of those new products used and got some new tips and ideas. And, uh, and that was super awesome. Uh, super awesome. That, that's not even a word. <laughs> super awesome and exciting. It becomes is awesome. <laughs> You know what I mean. Um, and some of my team members came along as well. So that was really good. Yeah. So um, I'm feeling a bit shiny today. It's it's actually quite warm in here in the craft room today. Um, but we I don't think we've had the air conditioning on today. But that's okay. We'll be all good. Just, just when you see my shininess, just think that I'm glowing. Okay. Because I'm so excited about all these new products I'm going to share with you. Um, hey Deborah, how are you going? Great to have you with us. Um, oh, Megan said they'll be on Instagram, going to start on Grogu in the next few weeks. Yay! I can't wait to see it. I love Grogu, he's so cute. We actually finished, my son and I finished watching the Boba Fett series uh, yesterday. So um, we've seen The Mandalorian and now we've seen Boba Fett and of course I've seen all the Star Wars movies. Anybody else out there as well? Um, who are Star Wars fans like Megan and I. <laughs> uh, I hadn't actually seen any Star Wars movies or shows or anything for a long time. And then when my son told me that there's some series that they've created on, um, I think it's Netflix. Is it Netflix or Disney Plus? One of them. Netflix, I think. Um, I'm like, yes. So, uh, yeah, it was good. Um, oh, Megan said, ladies, don't sweat. We glow. As my grandmother said, oh, I like that. Yes, I'm glowing today. I'm very glowing. And the lights don't help. They make me glow even more. <laughs> Disney Plus. Oh, it's on Disney Plus. Thanks, Megan. Um, what did I think about the last Boba Epi? Yeah. Um, full on. <laughs> Let me just say. And my son and I were a little bit disappointed about the very ending. Um, yeah. So we'll see what comes next. Uh, we'll, we can have more of a chat about that afterwards, Megan, I think. <laughs> so let me just tell you, so all of these new products are from our brand new annual catalogue that's coming. Now look at my wish list. <laughs> these, these sticky tabs at the top or post-it notes at the top is my current wish list. Okay. Now, um, usually a lot of us are working on a budget, so we can't have it all all at once. So I'm spreading it out and we've got a whole year to get it. But as a demonstrator, I, I was able to get some early in pre-order. That's another perk of being a demonstrator is to get product early. So of course I had to order some things. And so that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. And these things will be coming in time. And these ones down the side are the ones I'm going to be showing you today. Um, now, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you're already working with and you're here in Australia and you would love one of these beautiful catalogues, let me know because I would love to get one out to you. Now, I actually have a catalogue request form. So let me find the link for that and I'll pop that in the comments for you. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube later on, I will put that in the details as well of my YouTube video. Um, let me find this. Here we go. Let's copy that link and we'll pop it in here. Uh, pop that down in the comments. Where's my comments gone? Oh, I've lost my comments. There they are. Uh, request a catalog and paste. There's the link. The link's in the comment if you would like to um, request a catalog from me. Now, if you already do have a demonstrator, please ask them for a catalog because I'm sure that they would love to look after you as well. Um, now, this catalog is going to be available um, to customers from the 3rd of May. And as demonstrators, we get a selection of products. We don't get to, in our pre-order, so we call it, or our early release products, we don't get to choose from everything in the catalogue. We get to choose from a selection. Because, of course, if they gave us open slather on the entire catalogue, there'd be nothing left. There'd be nothing left for all of our beautiful customers. Because all of the de demonstrators would just snap them all up. So they give us a selection, and that's what I've ordered from. 
Um, and just to let you know that if you would love to get a discount on all of your Stampin' Up! products, you too can get your hands on these products right now, which is why I'm showing them to you now, even though they're not available for a couple of weeks, because I, I want you to know what's available to you. You can get them when you purchase your starter kit. So you can put any of these new products into your starter kit when you join my wonderful crafting community. My team is called the Paper Craft Gems and I called it that because I do truly value um, every one of those precious team members um, and every one of them is um, valued and they are precious to me. So that's why I named them the Paper Craft Gems because they're like a precious gem. Um, so I can give you lots more information about joining if that's something that you would like um, to think about. I can answer any of your questions. So feel free to get in contact with me if that is something that you are interested in. Um, once you purchase that starter kit, uh, you get to choose, well, when you purchase the starter kit, you get to choose $235 worth of product and only pay $169 for that. So you're already getting $66 worth of uh, product for free which is super awesome and you'll get free shipping on that starter kit as well and then you get an ongoing 20% discount on all your future products and with a brand new catalog it's the best time to join well it's always the best time to join Stampin' Up actually anytime is a good time to join but especially with the new catalog because I know when you get this in your hands there'll be so many products in there that you're going to want and so why not get them at a discount <laughs> so um, if you would like more information about that, please feel free to get in contact with me um, or ask me any questions. I'm happy to answer any of your questions for you to then decide um, if that would be the right decision for you. All right, let me look at these comments. And oh, Megan says her wish list has something on every page. Oh my goodness, it's a beautiful catalog, isn't it, Megan? It's so super exciting. <laughs> um, now, I have already sent out, uh, well, haven't sent out, I've ordered catalogs for my customers, um, my regular customers. They will be sent directly from Stampin' Up. If you're unsure if, you've, if you're having one sent to you, feel free to get in contact with me. Um, but again, if you haven't purchased with me before, feel free to get in contact with me. Or if you haven't purchased from me in a really long time, get in contact with me so that I can get one of these catalogs out to you. Um, and I have some brand new ones on my shelf. Oh, you can't see them because oh, they're on the bottom shelf. You can't see them. Um, I've got some here in my hot little hands ready to pass on to um, some lovely customers as well as those that have been that have been shipped out directly. All right. Um, hey, Glenda. How are you going? Great to see you today. Monica's here too. Hey, Monica. You just got your catalogue today. Awesome. And your wish list is big too. Yeah. So many beautiful things, isn't there? It's very, very exciting. Megan's here too. Megan Lacorno. Hi, Megan. Great to have you with us today. This is awesome. We've got so many jumping on. Helen's here too. Hi, Helen. Great to have you with us. Um, Megan said the suite on page 12 is her favourite. Oh, wait, I need to have a little sneaky peek to see which one. Ah, yes. I may be showing that today. <laughs> All right. Well, let me tell you that as I show you the products, so I'm allowed to show you the physical products and I'm allowed to show you any projects that I've made with the products. I can't yet show you the inside of the catalog. I can only show you the cover. So in a moment, I'm gonna pop this over to the side so that I can um, give you all of the details of each of the products as I'm showing them to you. But who's ready? Who's ready to see some new product? It's super exciting. Now, just before I start, let me tell you, um, I have my assistant Amber here today to help me over to my left and probably the opposite for you. I don't know because I flipped the camera. I don't know which side she's on for you. But anyway, um, so she's going to be helping me with product um, so that I'm all, all organized. She's going to keep me organized today. And we've got Callie, our little puppy dog, in the room too. So if you hear any noise, um, please forgive little Callie because the noise will be coming from her. <laughs> um, and let's just hope that she stays settled and she sleeps and she doesn't bark. 
let's hope nobody comes to the door because she hates it when people come to the door she's a good little guard doggy all right megan is ready she's excited megan lacornu said hi amber hi everybody amber said hi everybody in case you didn't hear that little voice <laughs> She doesn't like being on camera, so I'm not going to do that to her. Um, oh, Megan G also said hi. <laughs> Everyone's saying hi to you now. Um, and hi to Callie too. All right. Well, what I'll do is I will cover up the camera. I'll tip it down to the desktop so that we can look at all these beautiful products. All right. Just bear with me a moment. Here we go. We'll cover it up. I'll do a little flippity flip. And I'll move my camera. Here we go. Oops, I might need to move my drink bottle first. Oh, I left that there too. I need to move that as well. All right, here we go. All right, squeak, squeak, squeak. It always squeaks. And let's get this tightened up. Sorry, everyone. It's a bit noisy when I tighten everything up. And. All right, let's have a look and see how that is. Move my drink bottle back out of the way again. I'll just adjust the lights for you all. And we'll see how straight did I get it today. Oh, not too bad. Could be a little bit straighter. Let's see. I think it should be okay, though. There we go. All right. Now, any of these products that I'm showing you today, as I said um, if you're not already a demonstrator, you can get them if you purchase the starter kit. However, if you don't want to do that and you want to wait until they release to the public, um, that will be on the 3rd of May. So you might want to have a pen and piece of paper ready because as I give you all the details and show them to you, you might want to write them down. You might want to write down codes or product names. So make sure you've got a pen and paper handy just in case. Now, the, um, oh, okay, Megan says she has a phobia of butterflies. So there's one particular, um, one particular sweet that she doesn't like. So there's a little inkling for you all about something that's coming. Um, Glenda says, I always love seeing what other people get in their pre-order. Yes, me too. It's so fun. All right. So I am first of all going to show you the... Are we doing that first or this first? That first. Yes. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to talk to you about in colors. So every year, Stampin' Up! brings out a new set of in colors and they last for two years. Then they retire and then they bring out a new set. So we have got brand new in colors and you may have seen some sneak peeks already. But these are the gorgeous ink pads. We're going to start with the ink pads and then I'm going to show you everything that I've got in these beautiful colors. How amazing do these look together? They're so beautiful. So we have got, these are our new in colors for 2022 to 2024. So we've got Sweet Sorbet, which is a beautiful, um, it's like a cherry red. I kind of think of it as a cherry red or a pinky red, ready red, watermelony red. Yeah, we'll compare it when we see the papers. We'll see, we'll, um, we'll see. All right, so we've got Sweet Sorbet. We've got beautiful Parakeet Party. I love this bright green. So gorgeous. Tahitian Tide. I actually had a dream about this last night, believe it or not. <laughs> we've also got Orchid Oasis. I don't know if I'm going to fit all these on screen. And we've got Starry Sky. So there are our five beautiful new ink pad uh, well, in colours, in ink pads. Oh, I can look. If I go over this way a little bit more, I can fit them all on camera. We've got lights reflecting off them. Makes it a bit hard to see, doesn't it? If I bring them down a little bit there. There we go. Aren't they gorgeous? So beautiful. So I stamped each one of these for you to show you the colours. Now, just to let you know, these ink pads are quite juicy when you first get them. Well, mine were anyway. So um, sometimes when they're a little bit juicy, um, we need to blot them off a little bit or scrape them with an old bone folder. Whoa, there goes my bone folder. This is my old bone folder that I use for scraping the top of my ink pad just gently to push, push that ink down into the ink pad. Um, 
So sometimes if they're really, really juicy when you first get them, you might need to do that or blot them off on a bit of paper towel or some scrap paper or something um, so that you get good stamped images. Now, I hadn't done that before I had stamped these, so um, they might look a little bit blotchy, but that's just because the ink pad is so inky right now. So I need to do so that means I need to use it more and use up some of that ink or I'll probably actually blot it. But these are the colours when they're stamped. Now, obviously on camera, they don't always show up true to real colour. But hopefully you get a bit of an idea. But aren't they gorgeous? And you might see some new stamps here too. Just another little, uh, a little um, insight into something that's coming. Yeah, a little teaser. That's a good word. Um, now, as I was saying, all of these will be available from the fourth, uh, sorry, sorry, 3rd of May and you'll find them in my online store. Now, this host code that I've got here, this is actually my April host code. So by the time all of these new products go live, I'll have a new host code, but I'll post that up on my, um, on my Facebook page and I'll have a new one of these down here in May as well. So they're all the beautiful new colors. Don't they look awesome? Hi, Jenny. Great to see you. Great to have you with us today. Um, Julie said she thought the sweet sorbet looked a bit pinkish in the sneak peek photos. Yeah, I thought so too. But when we stamped it, it actually came out more red. I guess it is a little bit, it is a bit more on the pinky side of the reds probably. Um, but it is actually quite red. It's not, it's more red than pink, I would say. So... Yeah, love the blue. Megan loves the blues. Tina Marie loves the Orchid Oasis. It's a purpley blue. Yes, it is. It's, it really is. It's got definite, definite purple undertone, that one. Megan loves all of the new ink colours. Um, oh, Megan Lacornu says she can't help me with the codes today. That's okay. I've actually got the catalogue here um, open, and so I'll be able to do that. Thanks, Megan. You're always great helping me with the codes, but that's okay that you can't help today. <laughs> um, oh, Megan, um, Gorka just said, I got some retired ink pads and they leaked everywhere, Mandy. What can I do about the excess ink? Oh, okay. So sometimes that can happen if they're really, really inky and in the transport of them, of course, because the boxes get tipped up and, and so the ink pads aren't kept flat. And sometimes, I know sometimes when I get my boxes, they actually hand them to me sideways and I think, oh my goodness, how has that been sitting in your truck? Um, so sometimes if there is a lot of ink in the ink pad, that can happen. So all you need to do is, um, if it's a real problem, you can ring Stampin' Up! about it and have a chat to them and see how they can help you. Otherwise, um, I've had one or two. I, I didn't have with these ones. These all came beautifully perfect. Um, but in the past, I've had one or two that have been really inky and they've leaked inside the um, plastic covering. So what I've done is I've just carefully removed the covering. You can put some gloves on. And I just wiped up on the case with um, some baby wipes. Or you can use a wet chucks or a paper towel and just cleaned up all of the ink pad and it all came off. It just wipes off because it's water-based. It all came off and then it was all good. And then, but if you find the inside pad is still a little bit inky, oh, look, I've got a bit of fluff on there. Let me get that off. Oops. Um, if the inside stamp pad feels a bit inky to you, just dab it off onto some um, paper towel or some scrap paper just to remove some of that. Um, oh, thank you, Amber. She's getting me a wipe. Um, to remove some of that excess ink. I guess in one regard, it's better to have a pad that's too juicy than one that's too dry. Because if you had one that was too dry, then it's not going to um, stamp very well at all. And then you'd need to um, get the re-inker, which I like to get them anyway. Um, so there you go. So hopefully that helps you. Yeah, give that a go, Megan. See how that goes. Hopefully that will help you. All right. Megan Gork Roger has got her catalogue open and she's ready to go. Awesome. All good. All right, so let's pack away these ink pads. So that's what they look like stamped. Now, let me show you the beautiful card stock. All right, Amber is passing me. Oh, she's got everything late. Do you want me just to take the yes. whole lot? Yep, all right. Is this a 12 by 12? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have got here, look at all of this. So gorgeous. Now, did you want the... Um, did you want the codes 
of the ink well actually you know what I won't give you the codes yet if you want the codes let me know okay and then I can put the codes in um, but otherwise because I'm going to tell you about something um, in a moment as well so look at all of this beautiful beautiful color how gorgeous are they so we've got here the 12 by 12 inch designer series uh, sorry 12 by 12 inch cardstock in all of the beautiful colors so we've got starry sky orchid oasis tahitian tide parakeet party and sweet sorbet we've got the designer series paper which is six by six in the same colors as well and there's four different patterns so you actually get so they're double-sided so you get two sheets of each one and each oh, you get four of each one sorry four of each one amber is correcting me over here four of each one and they're all um each one is double-sided um so these are all the fantastic um, prints let me show you the designs up close so we've got some um ging uh, not gingham what do you call it plaid, plaid? yes plaid that's the word <laughs> Some plaid. This one's a little bit different too because you've got a more solid line through there. Then on the other side, you've got some polka dots, which is always great. I think it's always great to have polka dot paper. Then you've got so you've got a couple of sheets of those, a few sheets of those. Then you've got some stripes, and within the stripes, there's like um, smaller lines as well. So I'm not sure if that comes up well on camera or not. Um, but that's a really nice pattern. I like that one. And then on the other side, you've got a floral design and there's some leaves in there too and some spots and flowers. Yeah, flowers, leaves, spots and what else is in there? Lots of little detail. So I love that. So they're the different designs and they come in the five in colours. So really beautiful. They can be purchased in a pack. And there's 48 sheets in, 40. oh, sorry, 40 sheets in total, because that's right, because we've got five colours. 40 sheets in total, six by six in the pack. All right, then we've got, oh my goodness, we have got the gorgeous glimmer paper. Look how beautiful this is. This comes in six by six sheets as well. And you've got like an ombre effect on each of the colours. See how the colour gradient starts from dark and goes to light or light to dark whichever way you want to do it and that is in the five beautiful colors let me separate them like that it's not just beautiful i can't wait to play with this so pretty in fact we've always already had a little bit of a play with this but only a small play i'm looking forward to having a big play <laughs> i want to do something really oh fee's here hey fee how are you going you love the ombre it's beautiful isn't it it's so nice to have the ombre in a um, glimmer paper yeah really beautiful i can't decide which is going to be my favorite color actually i think it's going to be one of these three at the moment it's parakeet party but i'm very partial to he to tahitian tide and orchid oasis as well i think these three in the middle are going to be my favorites so isn't that beautiful? So they just, as you can see, they just all coordinate so beautifully together. Now Amber had these all laid out nicely. Oh yes, thank you. Um, the cardstock as well is available in A4. Um, currently at the moment, I uh, by the time I placed my pre-order, the A4 um, assortment pack had run out. So I actually had to get the 12 by 12 so that I had all the colors. Um, but then I bought some individual packs of the individual colors um, as well, except I couldn't get the sweet sorbet. But by the time it goes live to customers, I'm sure it will all be available. Um, all right. Um, da -da 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 -da. Um, oh, Megan says she's never used reinkers on a new ink pad. No, no, just over time when you use them a lot, specifically if it's colors that you use um, a lot of. Um, then you might need to re-ink them down the track, but certainly not when they're new because they're usually quite inky when they come to you. Um, the light blue is stunning with the ombre. It is, isn't it? I love this. So gorgeous. Look at that sparkle. I love me a bit of sparkle. So yes, yeah, so the cardstock is available in 12 by 12, which is great for scrapbookers, um, and also in A4. You can get them in the individual colour packs, and you can get them in a colour assortment pack as well. Um, 
that's in the A4. In the 12 by 12, you, you, they just come in an assortment pack. Okay. Alrighty. So let's pop those over to the side. Oh, oh, there goes Callie. She must have seen somebody come to the door. Or maybe just walked past the front door. Sorry about the barking. All right. Now we also have, of course, got to have beautiful bling. Now we've used a few out of here as well. So this isn't a complete pack. But we've got our beautiful colors there again. We've got our Orchid Oasis, Starry Sky, Tahitian Tide, Parakeet Party, and Sweet Sorbet. So we've got all of those beautiful colors in there. And again, we've got that um, gradient of colors. So it goes um, light to dark. So we've got like an ombre effect as well in our embellishments, which will be beautiful. Gives you so many more um, tones to use. There is also, let's pop that there. So, you know, because you know how much I love ribbon and bling, right? So it's almost my, always my favorite thing. We've got some in color Baker's Twine. And we've got the five colors in Baker's Twine as well. So that's really awesome. And not only that, we also have the five colors in this beautiful, now what is this called? Metallic woven ribbon. This is absolutely stunning. Now I only got one roll of this. Um, this is the Orchid Oasis. I just wanted to get one roll of it to see what it was like first, but I fell in love with it straight away and thought, ah, oh, why did I not order all the colors? So they're gonna be on my next order. Um, do you, if you ever remember the copper um, twine we had or not wasn't twine it was copper thread I think it was called copper thread or copper maybe it was copper metallic ribbon I can't remember what it was called it was copper something or other it was a couple of catalogs ago and it was around for a little while this is almost the same sort of thing I think it's a little bit narrower maybe and a bit softer actually but you can separate the fibers sorry excuse Callie barking her head off you can actually separate the fibers with this to um, make that wider as well like you could with the other twine before another thing you can also do is if you only want a few fibers of this you can actually pull the fibers out so if you cut a piece and then pull the fibers out you can use them like thread as well on your projects so this is really fun to play with so yeah so you can spread it out like that and then when you pull it again then it goes back to the narrow, but I will be purchasing all the other colors as well. They are, it's just so pretty. Look at it, so shiny and sparkly. More sparkle, can never have enough sparkle. Oh, Megan says, Basil is looking for the puppy. <laughs> Sorry, Basil. <laughs> Amber's just grabbed Callie now. Um, yeah, the door was just open for a moment then and um, Callie saw somebody walk past the front door. She's a good little guard doggy. <laughs> Um, Megan Gork Rogers said, is the parakeet party close in color to granny apple green or am I dreaming? Actually, it's not. The granny apple green, I think it is. Hang on, let me see if I can grab a piece here. It's, I thought that too. I thought it was going to be a bit like granny apple green or like the lemon lime twist that we used to have. Um, but it's actually different. Let me grab, um... Let me grab Granny Apple Green and I'll show you. Okay, here we go. You'll be surprised. I was so surprised when I compared the two because I always have loved Granny Apple Green. It's so bright and vibrant. But look at the difference. This is the Granny Apple Green in my hand. And look at how different it looks next to the parakeet party it's it looks really dull the parakeet party is much brighter than granny apple green so there you go there's a comparison in fact when you compare the two together like that this one actually looks closer to pear pizzazz but it's not um so yeah that's a bit of a comparison between the two bright greens that we have so there you go yeah quite different hey <laughs> um it's like a yellow green. Yes, it is. Yeah, so the new um, Parakeet Party's got more sort of the um, yellow undertones, whereas the Granny Apple Green's got sort of more of the, what would you say, like grey, grey-brown, maybe brown undertones. Yeah, they're quite different. But um, 
yeah but I love them I love them both individually they look like that looks really bright on its own but then when you compare them it's actually really different yeah so a bit of fun hey there you go now the other thing that we have as well is of course you love them both are oh, awesome uh Megan Goldcroft just said nope that new green will be too light you think too light for you okay oh you're looking for a green for your seahawks cards granny apple green is close to our action green but i'm thinking the new green may be the one to use oh it might be a little bit too bright too megan you might be better off going with the granny apple green yeah yeah i love them both as well they're both beautiful so that's our our ribbon and our bling and as i said i'll be getting more the more of the colors and when i get them i'll show them um on my live as well um, of the metallic ribbon then of course we've got all of our beautiful blends our alcohol markers our stamp and write mark uh, sorry our stamp and blends uh we do also have so these ones are the alcohol based ones um there are also the stamp and write markers which are our water-based ones. So there is a set of these that come in the ink colors as well. I didn't order them just yet um, because I usually generate, oh, sorry, gravitate, I should say, gravitate towards Stampin' Blends first. Um, so I'll get my Stampin' Write markers down the track, but I really wanted to get these to, to get started. So Amber has done a nice little sample up for us, showing us the colors. Hopefully I'll hold that close to the camera so you can see. It's a very little sample I said to her, that's a very small sample to show on camera, <laughs> but that gives you a bit of an idea of the colors. So we've got the lights and the darks in each of the colors there, but they're really beautiful. So yeah, see like Tahitian Tide, I just, I just love that blue. So vibrant. And I think it goes really nicely with the Parakeet Party as well. So when you purchase the Stampin' Blends, they come in a two pack of the light and dark. Um, and yeah, and they're available in all five of the in colors, which is super exciting. So that is all of the products. Let me bring them all back in again to show you. Hang on a sec. We're going to get them all organized again here because now I've messed everything up. I've, Amber had everything so beautifully organized and now I've mucked up her system. <laughs> uh, oh, Fee said her favorite so far is Ta Tahitian Tide. Yes, yeah, it's a very, very pretty colour. All right, so my papers don't look as pretty as they did when Amber had them all beautifully laid out for me. Oh, we've got some that have shifted here. But you get the general idea anyway. And then we've got all of our beautiful blends. There we go. And we've got all of our beautiful ink pads. I'm not gonna I'm not going to um, fan all of those out. Let me stand them up that way. Hope they don't leak. And we've got our twine, our baker's twine, and we've got our gems. Well, actually, what are these called? These are called decorative. what are they called? Matte decorative. matte decorative dots. That's what they're called. In color matte decorative dots. And then we've got our beautiful ribbon as well. Now, if you love all of those, let me just tell you. I am going to be running um, an in color club. It's not. Uh, it'll be up um, probably tonight. We've been working on that the last few days. And what an in color club is is that you can gather all of the in color products over a period of five months. So if you're on a budget perhaps, or you don't want to outlay um, the amount to get everything all at once. Uh, I do have an in color club where you can gather them over all each of the colors if, in everything over the five months. So look out for that. I'll be popping up. Um, I'll be popping that up in my page over the next um, probably twenty four hours. It might even be up tonight. We'll see how we go for time. And um, and look out for that because then you can collect everything over a few months and and spread out the cost. So watch out for that. Now, I've got a couple of projects to show you that we made. Here's our, here's our little sample of our inks and sample of our blends. There we go. And we have created some projects to show you using all of these beautiful, beautiful products. Let me pull all of these out of the way. 
and I'll bring in the projects to show you. Are you ready? This one is my favorite. Or maybe I should save this one till last because that's my favorite one. That's, that's my favorite one. So I'll show you the other ones first. All right. So we have this gorgeous one. Look at this. So this one uses all of the um, cardstock in each of the colors. We've done some tone on tone stamping on three of the colors there and just left the ones in between plain so it, it wasn't too busy. Um, we've got one of the new dies here from one of the new die sets, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And one of the new stamp sets, which I'm also going to show you in a minute. We've used some of the new um, in color matte decorative dots and some of the twine as well, some of the baker's yes. twine. And the Stampin' Blends, of course. Thank you, Amber. The Stampin' Blends to color the flower and the leaves. So this is the um, Sweet Sorbet in the light and the dark and the Parakeet Party. I have to keep looking at the names because I'm still learning them. But how beautiful is that? What do you think? Do you like that? Isn't that a great showcase of all of those beautiful colors? Really, really pretty. Um, oh, Megan said, we'll have to see how the budget goes, uh, but you're very interested. Oh, fantastic. That's great, Megan. Great to hear. Um, and Megan L says, very pretty. Thanks, Megan. All right, so that's the first sample. The next sample is this one here. Another very pretty one using some more new product to make, you might think, how did you get that? How did you make that calendar page? Did you tear that off a calendar? No, this is a new die, which is, so, I'm so excited about this one, actually, the, the die that does this. It makes it look like a notebook. Um, I have waited for a really long time for that, so <laughs> I'm very excited about that. Um, this is the, what's that one, that day to remember, I think it is, stamp set. It's current now, um, and it's returning, and we've used it to make a couple of little calendar pages. And we've got the 3rd of May circled on there because that's going to be a very special day. That's the day that the catalogue goes live. Um, we've used some of the In Colour Designer Series paper, some of the cardstock here, and stamped um, with one of the new stamp sets, which I'm going to show you, um, onto some of the cardstock there as well and use some more of those matte decorative dots. No ribbon on this one, but that's okay. We've got a lot of other things going on here. It didn't need any ribbon. So that's another one for you. Um, that's your Tommy's birthday. Is it the 3rd of May? Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, Tina Marie said that's lovely. Thank you. Yes, day to remember stamp set. That's the one that you can make the calendars. Yeah, awesome. Um, love that stamp set. Using it for your Seattle trip scrapbook. Fantastic. Very good. That's great. Um, and... This is my favorite one so far, using all of those beautiful in colors. How gorgeous is this? Now, Amber created this one. I have to say, um, this wasn't one of my projects, but she's been very good helping me with samples. Um, in fact, she made this one, was it yesterday, I think? Or Saturday night? Maybe. Oh, Might have been the weekend. Saturday the weekend, over the weekend anyway. Um, and this one again is using the that beautiful new dye. Um, which stamp set was that, that one from? Oh, that's from this stamp set, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Um, and she's colored all of these flowers using those Stampin' Blends. And she has a beautiful coloring technique with the Stampin' Blends. So, um, yeah. And we've got some of the glimmer paper in there. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And some of the ribbon. So we've got ribbon and bling in this one. Just, it's all happening in this one. Glimmer paper. We've got some, um, some of the... Is that the Orchid Oasis glimmer paper? Starry. That's a starry sky. Okay, that's a starry sky. And that one is a Tahitian Tide glimmer paper. But how beautiful is that? So there's some ideas for you using those new in-colour products. Oh, Glenda said, gorgeous card. Megan LaCorno said, wow, awesome, Amber. Um, Jenny's liking the cards as well. She said, very nice. Um... Okay, great. All right. So that is all of the in color products that I have at the moment. So let me go on to some of the other new products. All right. So this one, the next one I'm going to show you is from one of the suites, 
one of the brand new suites and it's called Roz said the lights and darks don't show really well on camera oh no they probably don't the camera doesn't pick them up so well um, but there is a lot of tone in these flowers where she's used the lights and the darks but yeah the cameras never show up um, the tone as well as what you see in real life and the colors are always a little bit different too so yeah all right so this is the hues of happiness um, hues of happiness suite and in the hues of happiness suite we have four products so we had the happiness abounds stamp set and that is the one that amber used um, for these cards we've got this one well it's for yeah we've we've used it on all of whoops we've used it on all of these cards okay not the thank you sent sentiment that's from a different stamp set but we've got the flowers are all from this one and the little you are wonderful in every way stamp set um i love this one it's really really pretty the flowers look great when they're colored and um the font in the sentiments is just beautiful and you've got lots of different fonts there as well for different occasions sending many thanks for all you do congratulations you are wonderful in every way Wishing you all the happiness you can imagine, friend, best wishes, and happy birthday. Now, these are all shown at 90% on the case um, to fit all of the images in, but the stamp sets are actually larger than that, or the stamps, I should say. Oh, look, we've got some extra bits in there already. Um, so it's a photopolymer stamp set, which is great. You can see through it um, when you're stamping, which makes placement really easy. And of course, there are coordinating dies. These are the Blooming Happiness dies. Okay, and these ones coordinate with the stamp set. And this is the one that's got that cute little notebook um, top die in it. Hang on, I'll take these out to show you. So we've got dies that will cut out all of the flowers and the leaves. And then we've got... Um, this one here, which is the one, whoa, it's a long one, long skinny one. So this is the one um, that is for that little um, notebook top piece, this one here. And then there's this other one for, um, mine has bent a little bit because my plates are bent. So that's a tip if you're using long, long narrow dies make sure you're using them with um flat plates not old plates that are warped because it's actually warped my die so i've got to very gently um tease that back flat again which you can do but you have to do it very carefully so you don't snap them um, and then there's this other one here i'll just hold it up i won't try to take it off i haven't put any of my new stamp sets on my magnetic sheets yet there's this one as well that um, gives you those little cutouts like a um also like a notebook but you know some notebooks they don't have the round holes they have the long holes um yeah so that one and then this one this creates we haven't used this one yet but this creates a beautiful cut out um background or detail um image um uh, megan is asking about the dies the dies are called the blossoming happiness dies blossoming happiness dies and they coordinate with the Happiness Abounds um, stamp set. Now remember too um, that these are coordinating products. So these two can be purchased as a bundle. And you do save yourself 10% when you do purchase them as a bundle. So keep that in mind as well. Um, because I guarantee you that if you buy the stamp set, later on you're going to say, Oh, I wish I had have bought the dies. Oh, I better buy the dies now. And then you will have wasted your discount that 10% discount so if you're purchasing the stamp set I highly recommend getting the dies as well because not only do you use them just for the stamp set you've got these decorative pieces as well that you can use on other projects as well so that's that one I'm going to hand them back to Amber like that she can pop them back in the packet for me now as well in this suite we have got some bling of course we always need to have some beautiful bling these are the glossy dot assortments I'll take them out of the packet so you can see them they've sort of got like a holographic um they've sort of got like a holographic look to them not sure if the camera will pick up on that but they're really really pretty now let me find out the colors um Oh, they're in the embellishment section actually the colors the colors are listed in the embellishment I don't think the colors are listed on the packet no they're in the embellishment section 
Uh, okay, so we've got Gorgeous Grape, uh, Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight, and Pool Party. So they are really, really pretty. They're going to be lovely on projects. And they're very blingy, which I love. Now, not only that, I'll give you those to put back in there. We, of course, have some designer series paper. And I'm going to pull them out of the packet to show you. So this designer series paper is called... I'm going to make a big mess here today. Amber's not going to be happy with me. <laughs> this one is called the Hues of Happiness designer series paper it's 12 by 12 inches or 30.5 centimeters by 30.5 centimeters and oh actually I'm going to need those dies back out sorry because some of those dies coordinate with the paper we've got some of that paper that coordinates with dies I love it when Stampin' Up does that it's awesome but these papers are really amazing and beautiful now we've cut into some of these so some of them might not look like 12 by 12 but stick with me actually we're going to go this way but look at these, you've got all these different colours in the paper. So you've got yellows, light pinks and dark pinks in the paper. Isn't that beautiful? So you can use the different sections. Um, oh, no worries, Megan. Oh, good. Adding. Oh, you're adding them to your, the dies to your wish list. Fantastic. Oh, that's good, Megan. Don't forget to get the stamp sets too. Um and Jenny said she'll be putting the Happiness Abounds on her wish list. Yay! That's great. It's really beautiful. All right, so let's have a look at these beautiful papers. Now, we've got some dies in the die set that coordinate with some of the designer series paper. So we've got this one, which cuts out this large rose, I believe. Hang on, let me get it lined up the right way. Sometimes you need to keep turning it till you get it lined up I think it's this paper oh yeah there we go that one there and then I believe that the small rows can be cut out as well turn that up the right way is it this one? Oh no that that one does this one I think over here with the stem yep so that one and then this one must be for this one here set up the right way no it might be upside down that way yep the and the leaves well. yeah I think the leaves cut out as well Somewhere. let's see down here some of the leaves um, these ones too yep so look at this all of these so you definitely need these dies definitely need these dies um, what else have we got uh, is there anything else on here that I've missed that we could cut out with I think that's it I think we've got everything all the little bits so there you go so you've got one two three four this of one. the dies this one mm -hmm. which one is this one the other one. this one mm -hmm. this one oh we've got another one hang on here we go look amber's got her eyes on we've got this one as well so there's five one two three four five no there's six one two three four five six so six of those dies will cut out some of the designer series paper as well so even if you don't have the stamps you can use the dies to cut out some of the designer series paper. So how cool is that? That's pretty awesome, isn't it? I love it when the dies coordinate with the stamp sets. Oh, I should have taken a photo of this. Oh, you did? Good job. <laughs> I was just going to say, I don't know where all these dies are going to go back on my stamp sheet, on my die sheet now. But Amber was the wise one and she took a photo before I pulled them off. Good job. There you go. I'll give them back to you, Amber. <laughs> Thank you. So what do you think about that? That's pretty cool. Hey, yeah, V said cool. Um, oh, Megan's been looking for notebook dies for ages. There you go. There's two different types in this um, die set. All right, let's have a look at the opposite side. So the opposite side looks like this. Now, this one I think we've cut a little bit because this one's a bit smaller. No? Oh, I just haven't got them lined up. Hang on a sec. There we go. So that's the opposite side of that one. And this one, you probably can't see the texture on camera but it's actually been created originally on um, canvas. So you've got like the canvas texture in there as well. And then they photographed it um, to create the paper. So how beautiful is that? So pretty. Now look, we've got the same paper. Actually, let's put that up that way. We've got the same paper in the blues and purples as well, which is super cool. 
So again, you can use that on your projects by cutting them, you know, into strips that way, or if you want the different colors, you could cut it that way, or you can die cut them individually with your dies and use them um, as individual elements on your project. So isn't that cool? You've got these cute little flowers in between as well. They're really lovely also. And then the back side of that, if you've got your beautiful blues and purples, that would look so beautiful for an ocean scene, wouldn't it? I think with a boat. And this could be like the sky. Yeah, with like the sort of sunset. You know, you get those purpley tones in the sky sometimes. Here's another beautiful floral paper. I feel like I'm showing you these upside down. Let me turn them around. There we go. There's another beautiful floral paper, really pretty. And there's the opposite side of that one. Again, more beautiful paper. There's some more flowers in, look at the, the um, different colors across the paper. Isn't that so cool? Having those across the paper. I think that looks awesome, having all those different colors. And this one's a really cute one too. This will make beautiful background paper. It'll be a really lovely layer, I think. And there we've got um, another one that's got, again, the different colours. So let's have a look what colours are in this suite. We've got Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Pool Party, Night of Navy, and Fresh Freesia, which up until now, Fresh Freesia has been my favourite colour. And, that... and then there's other colours mixed in amongst that too, Amber said, yep. So they're the main colours anyway. <gasps> Look at this one. This one's like a beautiful rainbow. How pretty. This is my favourite one out of this pack. Isn't that beautiful? So gorgeous. And again, you've got those brush strokes and the texture of the, um, the canvas. Really beautiful. There's another very florally one. And look, we've got the gradient of colours. We've got the blues and purples at the tops, at the top, I should say, and the pinks and the yellows. Um, at the bottom so again if you great for scrapbooking too you can cut that in half and um, you can have a 6 by 12 piece or you can make if you were cutting card fronts you can have three card fronts in that color three card fronts in this color you got six cards so isn't that just beautiful and then the reverse side of that is like these little cross hatches in like your rainbow colors isn't that pretty I'll hold that up a little bit closer so you can see. Hopefully the camera will be able to focus. It's a bit hard to tell the colours up close. They're like little cross hatches or little X's. So there you go. So that is the um, Hues of Happiness suite. So we've got the DSP. We've got the... Where's the other bits for this one? The stamp set. Oops, hang on. Let's turn that DSP over so we've got the flowers the flowers showing, the stamp set, the dies, and that gorgeous bling. So that's what you get in the Hues of Happiness um, suite. Okay, and then we've of course got lots of beautiful ribbons that um, are not part of the suite, but that will coordinate even some of that new ribbon. Actually, you know what? This new um, Orchid, did I get the Orchid Oasis? Is that the one? Mm -hmm. Yes, that would coordinate, look. That will go with the purple flowers too and with the bling. Ah, look, we can coordinate some of our in-colour ribbon as well. And some of the other in-colours will probably um, match nicely too. <coughs> oh, sorry about the, the puppy. She heard something. This is why I don't normally have her in my room, in my craft room when I'm filming because she's just too noisy. Oh, that was her head. Oh, bonk. she just bumped her head. Alrighty, that one next, thank you. Okay, so um, the, sorry about that, sorry about that, um, Callie got a fright. I think she heard something and um, yeah, Amber's just taking her out now. That's why I don't normally have her in the room when I'm filming because it doesn't take much and she goes off her head at any slight little noise. She's always on high alert. Um, oh, no worries, Helen. Oh, have a lovely time at card making. You catch the rest on replay. No worries. Alrighty. So um, with the in colours, there is also a suite that coordinates with the in colours and it's called the Tea Boutique Suite. So we have um, 
cup of tea stamp set which I love I, I really really love this one it's such a sweet stamp set I'll move that up a little bit so you can see it um, and we've got two little patterned teacups down here we've got some little leafy bits that we can have coming out of our tea of course we've got a tea bag we've got some cute little sentiments we've got a slice of um, citrus there it can be lime it can be lemon it can be orange whatever you want to make it we've got some additional little flowers um, and uh, we've even got this little sentiment you probably can't read that it says I just can't thank you enough so it's a tiny little sentiment that will fit on the tag um, also some of these other ones will fit on the tag we've got sweet I miss you it's time for tea we've got to and from which is always great for a little um, a little tag um, so yeah, so you can use this as like a tea bag um, dangler, a tea bag tag, or you can just use it as an ordinary tag on another project as well. We've got enjoy, thank you for your friendship, take care of yourself, let's get together soon, and thank you. Obviously, these ones are larger ones that won't fit in the tag. But how beautiful is that? It's a photopolymer stamp set, um, and it's a two-step stamp set because you can stamp the cups and then you can stamp the extra little bits to go with the cup. So you can stamp the citrus on the side of the cup. You can stamp, if you want to make it like a potted garden or a teacup garden, you can stamp the plants, um, etc. So yeah, you're only limited by your imagination. So there you go. It's a photopolymer stamp set. Really, really beautiful. All right, and of course, there are dies to coordinate with that. These are the teacup dies. It's an easy one to remember, isn't it? Teacup dies. And of course, we've got dies in there that will coordinate with the stamp sets. And we've got some additional dies as well. We've got some additional hearts. There's three little hearts there, two um, medium sized hearts. Then you've got all the, the different little bits that will cut out all of the. Um, the images on the stamp there as well plus you've got this extra little teacup here so this one will die cut the outline of those teacups but you've got this one here as well that's got the detail in it oh, let me turn that around the right way um, so it actually cuts out that detail as well so so that will be super fun to play with too so there you go and an extra little citrus slice so this one here will cut out the citrus stamp and then this one is an extra little citrus slice if you want to cut it out of cardstock or DSP or something. So there you go. Now the designer series paper that coordinates with this suite, let me show you that because this one coordinates with the in colours. So this one has the in colours in it. Um, so it's got sweet sorbet, parakeet party, Tahitian tide, starry sky, orchid oasis, plus it's also got crushed curry in it as well um, it's not listed there oh it's also it has also got some other colors that aren't listed they were the main colors but it's got some other ones that aren't listed which um, I can see petal pink in here as well fresh freesia amber saying but these are really beautiful let me show them to you um, I'm going to just flick them over this way because I think it's the easiest way so how cute are these teacups absolutely love them and look there's your little your little teacup gardens so cute and this is the reverse side so i'll do a quick flick so you can see them all i'll put them side by side like this so you can see there we go beautiful um, colors in there so you have the bold designs on one side and then on the other side you've got more muted designs so if you um, are not looking for something that's really bold but you might want something a little bit softer you've got the reverse side so this one looks like petal pink to me. Love these teacups. They're so cute. Got some more um, like gingham type finish. That look that would look good like a um, tablecloth, wouldn't it? There's the um, crushed curry. Ooh. Some florals. Some greens there. That's the, uh, is that the parakeet party? Parakeet party, yep. This one's quite bold, isn't it? That's really nice. That's in the soft sorbet in the background. That's really pretty. It reminds me of something, but I can't think what it is. And then we've got the soft colours with the softer design in the background again. 
Monica says, this one I will definitely be getting. The teacup look so neat. They do, don't they? They're gorgeous. Look at these teapots. How pretty are they? So, so cute. Um, I was just having a look to see. Unfortunately, there's not a die that die cuts these, but I reckon we could fussy cut those. I know some people don't like fussy cutting. So if you don't like fussy cutting, you could just use them in strips or, you know, as a background. But for those of us that um, don't mind a little bit of fussy cutting while we're sitting watching the telly or something, these would be great too. So I love this design too. That's really cool. Bit of a distressed look. This one I really love. How pretty is that with the little envelopes? So cute. We've got some more texture there, some more teapots, some beautiful Tahitian tied polka dots. We've got some more um, gingham, another another tablecloth looking one. Why is she barking so much? Is Dad talking to someone? Daddy's talking to someone, that's why. And uh, another floral one there as well. So there you go. So this one is... Um, the Tea Boutique 6x6 six six designer series paper and you get a total of 48 sheets in the pack. This isn't a full pack because we've pulled some out of that. Um, but you get 48 sheets in total. So I think you get, is it four, four of each? What does it say? Uh, oh, it doesn't say on that page. It says on the DSP page. Yeah, I think it's four. Designs. Yeah, I think there's 12 designs and you get four sheets of each design in the pack. So I love those. And then was there anything else? Oh, the cards and envelopes. There are some coordinating cards and envelopes which are beautiful, which I didn't actually order, um, but they're part of this suite as well. And the good thing too with the suites is um, you can purchase the products individually or you can purchase them um, as, a, as a complete suite collection. And in your catalogue, you'll find that there is one code for that. If you have your catalogues with you, I forgot to say this at the beginning. If you have your catalogues with you, you can open them up. We're on pages 12 and 13 at the moment, if you want to have a look there. Remember again too, these come as a bundle, the cup of tea bundle. So the stamp set and dies together. Um, or you can purchase them separately, but purchase them together and save yourself 10%. Um, Deborah said, do any of the dies cut out? Do any of the dies cut out and of the cups on the paper? Oh, of the cups on the paper. Um, I think these ones are much smaller. These cups are a lot larger. So I don't think so with these ones because the designs on these papers are much smaller than what you get on a 12 by 12 um, designer series paper so i'm pretty sure i don't think so because these are all much smaller but that's a great question thanks deborah for bringing that up i don't think so i'm just having another quick flick through however you could use some of these some of these to die cut teacups if you want some very patterned teacups or you can use some of the more um, subtle designs. A blue polka dot teacup, that'd be cute. Uh, no, I think the answer to your question is no, they don't. The dies for this one just cut out the stamp sets and then you've got some additional standalone dies as well. Yeah. So I was just thinking of the little flowers. I was having a look at the little flowers, if any of those might cut out. Maybe. We've got some extra love hearts here too, but I don't think there's love hearts on any of the paper. I think they're just additional dies. No, I don't think so. Don't think so. But they will cut out the stamped images. So there you go. So that is the Tea Boutique Suite. Really beautiful. And as I said, these um, papers, this paper coordinates with the in colours. So they're really beautiful. All right, what have we got next? Let's have a look. We have, oh, I've got some standalone products as well. So as part of my, um, so as I mentioned at the beginning, on the weekend we had a Stampin' Up! event. It was called On Tour. For those of us, oh, that's okay, no worries, Deborah. Um, some of the paper will make great cups. Yes, I agree. I think they will. They'll be beautiful. Um, and as part of that 
uh, demonstrator event, we were sent one of the new stamp sets and there were three different ones that were sent to demonstrators in Australia who were attending the event. I received this one, which is the Good Feeling stamp set, which is great for large sentiments. If you love a large sentiment stamp set, this one is awesome. Um, and you know what I love about these large stamp, uh, large um, sentiment stamp sets is that if you're unsure or you struggle like I do to write on the inside of your card, these are fantastic because they take up so much room on the inside of your card. You don't need to write much else. <laughs> so that's what I love them um, for. But this is a cling stamp set. So it's the red rubber stamp set and um, great for inside your cards, but also on the outside. So I created a card. You may have seen me post that up yesterday for my um, card swap because we do a, a card swap at every event and this time it was a virtual event. So I just whipped up a very quick card using um, Sending Sunshine and Good Feelings Your Way. And this is the card that I very quickly whipped up. Um, I did some gold embossing there with the sentiment. I used some of the, oh, what's that called? I forget that designer series paper and the cards. Um, oh, it's, it's, what is it? Abstract, abstract, is it abstract beauty? Is that the one? Hi Kelly, great to have you with us. Good timing, I'm showing some new product. It's very exciting. Hey Judy, I am unboxing, yes. You have to go back and watch the beginning because um, I already unboxed some. Abstract Beauty, that's the one. Thanks, Fee. So I use the Abstract Beauty Designer Series paper, which is six by four inch paper. Um, I use the coordinating cards and envelopes and the ephemera pack as well. And then I use some gold um, shimmer ribbon. Oh, and I also use the embellishments that also goes with that suite too, which is from the current mini catalog. But the stamp set is one of the new products coming up in the new catalog. So yeah, so shows you that you can mix and match old and new and come up with a really beautiful um, card. And this one took me no more than about 10 minutes to put together because these were just punch outs. I just had to stick them on, just trim down the designer series paper a little bit, did a bit of embossing and there you go. Yeah, so there you go. Oh, Fee just said she's got it all out on her desk right now. Well, there you go. That's fantastic. So that's the card that I made with that. So I look forward to using that one a bit more. And I've got a coordinating envelope. Look how pretty my, my envelope is to match with my card. So super pretty. These cards and envelopes are out of the current mini catalog if you're looking for them. And they've got the um, printed card bases that come with them as well. And they're in different colors and different patterns on the card bases. So that's that one. Alrighty, so next we have let's see what have we got next oh oh my goodness i love this stamp set so this is a stand another standalone stamp set it's called wild and sweet and how sweet are these cute little critters isn't that just beautiful i know they're not critters she said they're not critters creatures okay creatures <laughs> so this is a very distinctive stamp set um it's not actually listed as a distinctive stamp set, is it? No. It's not listed as a distinctive stamp set, but it looks distinctive. There's a lot of really fine detail in the images in these stamp sets, uh, or this stamp set. And I just love these little animals. Aren't they just so adorable? Now, the images on the front are shown at 85%, which means the um, stamps inside are actually much bigger. So I'll flip them over to the back so you can see. But look how beautiful and big these sentiments, uh, these images are. Now, there's no sentiments in this stamp set, so you'd need a good sentiment from another stamp set. Um, but how beautiful are these going to be? And the great thing is, too, with these animals, it's not going to take too much colouring because of the coloration of the animals. Obviously, we've got black and white, black and white, and the koala is grey, and then you've just got the trees and the grass. So it won't take much to actually colour them, but to make them look so beautiful... And then you can um, team them up with some bling and ribbon or um, some beautiful designer series paper. And they're just going to be lovely. I just can't wait to have a play with this one. So that's the Wild and Sweet stamp set. So look out for that in the new catalogue. It's on page 87. If you've got your catalogues with you, have a look at page 87. Um, oh, uh, Kelly loves the koala. Yep. Yeah, um, 
Oh, Judy says she wants this one. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Write it down, wild and sweet, but you'll find it in your catalogue. Uh, it takes up half a page or a bit more than half a page in the catalogue on page 87. When you get your catalogue, that's where you've got it. Yep, your catalogue hasn't arrived yet. It should be there soon though, Judy. It's been ordered for you, so it's, it's on its way. Um, oh, Monica has to go to bed. That's okay, Monica. No worries. You'll watch the rest tomorrow. Oh, all good. All good. Thank you for being with us. Um, all right. Um, yes, Kelly has her. Kelly already has a catalog, Judy. You might need to uh, have a little visit with Kelly. <laughs> so you can have a, have a little sneaky peek until yours arrives. All right. So that's that. Let's move on to the next one. The next one, I have another bundle for you. And this one is called Wisteria Wishes. And this is another beautiful stamp set if you're a flower lover. Now this one has um, coordinating dies as well, which I'll open up in a moment. Um, this one is another distinctive stamp set. So it's got the different shadings in it. Now you can do a few things with this one. You've got branches here that you can hang these from or stamp them with to make them look like they're hanging from the branches to look like wisteria if you stamp them in the purple tones. But then what you can do is you can flip those flower heads up the other way and stamp them on the top of these stems to become a different type of flower. Now I'm yet to find out, Deborah, are you on here? <laughs> Deborah's always my go-to when I need to know what types of flowers things are. Deborah or anybody else that might know what types of flowers these would be if these were stamped up the other way. And I think I've seen people stamp them in pink. I don't know if it's a type of heather or what it's meant to be. Um, but yeah, it is a different type of flower when you turn them upside down. I wish Stampin' Up! would let us know which types of flowers these all are because I'm no good with that sort of thing. So I always have to ask somebody. Um, and then you've got this extra little stamp here that is, oh, wolf glove. Kelly said wolf glove. Ah, oh, awesome. Thank you so much. I'm going to write that down because I will not remember that. Wolf glove. And are they a pink flower, Kelly? So I know that if I'm stamping them, is that the color I should be stamping them in? Oh, fox glove. So is there two different types, fox glove and wolf glove? Oh, I'll have to look them up. Fox glove. Okay, I'm writing it down. Fox glove and wolf glove. I'll have to. Um, oh, Roz said fox glove as well. Yep. Okay, I'll have to do a bit of Googling to see what color I need to stamp them in when I'm stamping them up the other way. Now, the good thing is they're a solid image too, so you don't need to do any coloring with them. You just need your colored ink pads. Stamp them with your colored ink pads. You'll get all the different colors and opacities built into the stamp because they're um, because they are distinctive. You get all the different shading. Um, oh, Kelly said, oops, foxglove. Yes, ink. Uh, yes, ink and purple. No, just foxgloves. Oh, pink and purple. Okay, foxgloves. Okay, so that's it. Pink. Got it. So pink if they're foxgloves and purple if they're wisteria. There you go. And then you just need your greenery as well. So how cool is that? And there's some beautiful, and of course you've got this extra little leafy image here as well. And then you've got beautiful sentiments in here, which I love. Faith is about trusting. Happiness grows within. A, to a friend who's all kinds of wonderful. Hang in there even when you don't understand. That is a great one. Love those beautiful sentiments. Now let's have a look at the dies. We've got some special additional dies in here as well. So we've got dies that cut out the leaves, cut out the wisteria or foxgloves, um, cut out the stems of the foxgloves. Then we've got additional dies that actually will die cut wisteria. So if you're just using cardstock, you can die cut in two different colors, overlay them and um, make your own wisteria to hang from the branches, which is super beautiful. And then you've got here, you've got the individual branches and these have actually got detail on them too, that they're going to emboss the veins on the leaves when you die cut them. How gorgeous is that? That's going to be beautiful. And then look at this one. You've got a vine. I'm so excited about this one. Can you tell? I haven't used it yet. I can't wait to. You've got a vine die as well. So you can create a vine as well. Love that. 
So years ago when I was doing a lot of scrapbooking, this, this is what this one reminds me of. I made a scrapbooking page of um, grapevines because my uncles used to um, have grapevines in the country down in Victoria, around the Mildura area. And um, when the children were young, we took them there and it was their first experience of actually picking grapes fresh from the vine and being able to run up and down the vines and, and play. And I made this amazing um, grapevine. So I know this isn't grapes, but this kind of reminds me of the same sort of thing. So I'm excited to play um, with this because that's what it reminds me of. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Faithfield sentiments. Yes, they really are, Judy. Yeah, they're beautiful. You want that one too? Oh, wow. You need to start your wish list, Judy. <laughs> Write it down. Put it on your wish list. Um, Fee said, oh, this one is gorgeous. It's on her wish list too. Oh, awesome. There you go. Yes, wisteria hanging down and foxglove standing up, Judy. That's correct. Yeah. Oh, Julie was going to say lavender too. You know what? I reckon you could almost make it into lavender, although lavender heads have a narrower individual head, I think, don't they? We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'm sure you can make it into all sorts of things. Actually, potentially, you could make this into lavender if you cut it down a bit smaller, maybe. Hmm, there's an idea. You have to see what you can come up with, Julie, and show me. So, actually, I'm going to hand these back to Amber. All right, so that's the um, Wisteria Wishes Bundle. Okay, so remember when you purchase the two together, the stamp set and the dies as a bundle, you'll save yourself 10%. So make sure you take advantage of, um, of that. Okay, next we have, we've done that one. Next we have, we've done that one. Ah, we've got some dies. We've got some standalone dies. These are, oh, so I really am, was so excited when I saw these. These are called the stylish shape dies. Who remembers our stitched shape dies? Do you remember those? We had stitched, what did we have? Stitched squares, ovals, and circles. And remember when they got um, retired? Everyone was so sad when they got retired. Well, guess what? They've got a new die set in place of that called Stylish Shape Dies. They're a little bit different, but they are beautiful. And let me show you what we've got. So we have got our stitched circles, stitched squares, and then we've got our bannered labels as well. How awesome is that? Now these, each one of these dies has got stitching. I'm just trying to very carefully, we really need to put these ones onto magnets, Anne, because these ones are going to get a lot of use. So these ones have got very fine um, dotted stitching on the inside and on the outside of the circle or on each of the, the pieces. Um, so when you die cut it, not only will you get the circle on the inside, if you want to use the negative space, you'll have the stitched line on the outside as well. And this is the one that um, we used on this card here with that stitched outline and we've just inked around the edges. Not sure how well that will show up on camera, but it's a very faint stitched line. And in fact, because we've actually inked it around the edges, you might not be able to see it quite so well. Um, but really, really lovely, and I love it's actually got a finer stitched line than our old stitched shapes. I think the stitched the stitch shapes we had before had a longer stitched line. These are actually dotted stitched lines. So I was so excited about these. Um, you love these ones, Julie? Yeah, they're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Um, oh, Deborah said they could be stock flowers or snapdragon flowers too. Yeah, I ah, snapdragon. yes. Oh, yes, if you turn them up that way. We used to grow snapdragons um, years ago back at our old house. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Thanks for that, Deborah. Right I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write, yep, I was just about to. I'm going to write that down too. Stock flowers and, so I'm going to need to Google these to find out all the different colours that we can stamp these in. And I might need to make up a whole heap of samples. Snapdragons. Thanks, Deborah. That's awesome. Great. Alrighty. So let's pop that one back away. So yeah, so these are a great die. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six shape, six sizes in the circles. And I love that this goes to a very small circle as well this time. And one, two, three, four, five squares. And then you've got the four labels. So six, five, and four. Okay. Oh, Snapdragons were your first thought, Julie. Oh, there you go. 
you're on the same wavelength as Deborah. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. Oh, Judy said she wants that one. Or oh, she needs to recover from settling my nephew into his apartment. Moving is expensive. Yes. <laughs> That's okay, Judy. You've got time. This does. All of these products aren't available until the 3rd of May anyway. So that's okay. You've got time. <laughs> I'm showing them in advance, see, so that you can prepare yourself and be ready when it all goes live on the 3rd of May. <laughs> all right. We've got... Um, that goes with that, though? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We've got another... Oh, okay. So now I've got a whole heap of papers to show you. Now, some of these papers go with sweets, but at this stage, I've just bought the papers. Um but I will show you the papers. And as I show you these, this, this one is really special, actually. I'll show you this one first. It's called He's the Man 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper. Now, if you have got men or boys in your life, you're probably going to love this one. Let me open this up and take these out to show you. These ones are pretty special. I'm first of all going to show you, hang on a sec, whoops. Now, as I said, these ones have got, this one has got a whole suite built around it called He's a Man. He's the, he's the man or he's our man? He's the man. Um, but as I said, I only have the papers at this stage. So I'll show you all of the papers first. Um, oh, I did buy the embellishments that go with this as well, which I'll show you in a moment. But these have got some great imagery. Let's go that way. Some great imagery for masculine cards and great colours as well. So really awesome and some great texture built into these as well. So you'll see these ones. And I've got two additional ones to show you at the end, which are pretty special. I'm saving them till the till the end after I've shown you all these other papers. I'm trying to spread them out so you can see them all. I'm running out of room. I love this one with the little um, camper vans or caravans as we say here in Australia. Like little camping ones. They've got tents and fireplaces and um, little trees. And there's another, uh, another brown one. So they're pretty awesome, aren't they, for masculine cards. Now we've also got two special sheets that comes with it. Look at these two. These are part of the Designer Series Paper Pack. And there's two of these sheets. And what these are, are these are all... It looks like it's printed on the paper, right? Which it is, but they're die cuts. You can pop them out and use them as decorative elements on your projects. So how cool is that? Just in time for Father's Day. Well, yes, that they will be. Father's Day will be in um, September. So these will be great for... Father's Day here in Australia, it's in September. Other countries, I think it's a little bit earlier. But you've got all of these, and you've got sentiments in here too. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to hold off because I can make some masculine cut. So I'm going to hold off getting the entire suite because I can um, use some of these for masculine cards because I can add the little sentiments. They've got some of the little sentiments and things on there. And you've even got these cool little... I love this one. I'm going to pull this out. Amber's going to have a heart attack because I'm pulling... She is... I knew she would. Look at that piece. That's like a torn um, a torn notebook piece as well. How cool is that? That's how it punches out like that, like it's really distressed. And then you can ink the edges of that to make it more distressed. That would look awesome. So, yeah, make it more grungy looking. Aren't they awesome? And then I did get the um, the the embellishments that go with it these are the rustic metallic adhesive back dots because i love me a bit of metallic hang on i'm going to open these so you can see all of them in the packet because some of them are hidden Whoop. there we go so you've got these little tiny ones and then you've got these medium sized ones as well and they're going to go brilliantly with um this designer series paper they are part of the suite and then there's also a stamp set um and dies as well that coordinate with this suite as well but how cool is that but i love the little combi with the um the surfboard on the top how cool is that so yeah so there you go 
Now I'm going to show you a whole heap of different designer series papers, but as I show you these, I want you to also keep in mind that I am going to be holding, or I am holding, a paper share. So it's actually, let me move, I'll move all of this paper out of the way. I'll give these to Amber to put back together now in the packet. There we go. Thank you. Careful of the little, now all my pieces. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be having a paper share and uh, Wazza would love the combi one. Yes, he would. Yeah, he would. Um, Wazza is my brother-in-law or Judy's and my brother-in-law. And uh, yeah, he would definitely love that with the surfboard on top. Yeah. Um, oh, you just tagged that one in the catalogue, Deborah. That's awesome. Just in time for Elliot's birthday. Yes. Yes, very good too. Um, those camper vans are going to be your son-in-law's next birthday card, Deborah. Fantastic. They're great, aren't they? Um, oh, Aunty Judy says hi, Amber. Hi. She said a very quiet hi. <laughs> she doesn't like being on camera. Hey, Jenny, I didn't know you were here. Great to have you with us. Love all those die cuts. Yes. And the van is awesome. Yeah. So let me tell you about my um, catalog, my paper share for the annual catalogue. So it'll include all of the um, the major papers that are in, not some of the, there's some additional specialty papers, um, but it's the main papers. So there's um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 papers that are going to be in my paper share. And basically, you're going to be getting a quarter pack of each one of those um, paper packs. The cost is going to be $72. Um, and then if you want them posted to you, if you're not local to me, then you can pay postage as well. But what I'm going to do is I am right now going to put the... Um, oh, actually, did I get the... I don't think I did. I don't think I copied it, did I? Hang on a sec. I'm going to have to find the link for you because I think I forgot to... Uh, copy the link for you all for today. I meant to have that ready and I think I forgot. So let me see if I can go and grab that for you. And then I'll pop the link here in the comments, but I will also post it as well. And then that way, um, if you want to be part of that paper share, you can register now. Um, I'm not taking payment just yet. I'm waiting, um, won't be taking payment until the catalogue goes live just to be sure that all the papers are there and, and ready. Why is that not opening? That's not opening. Hang on a sec. I'm trying to open it to get the... Might need to do it on the computer, Amber. It's not opening on here. It's not opening. Okay, that's all right. We'll get it up for you. Um, do you want to look up look for that for me? That's all right. Amber will find it and we'll get the link for you. Um... Yes, and then I'll be able to, you'll be able to get a quarter of each of those packs of paper, which will be awesome. So all the details will be in that link. You can read about it first and then decide if that's something that you might want to do. And then if you do, the registration form is right there um, with the information as well. So I'll move on to show you the next beautiful paper. This one is called Sun Prints, and this one is 12 by 12. And... This one is absolutely stunning and I nearly didn't get this one and then when I got it I'm like oh my goodness I'm so glad that I ordered this one. Do you know how to find it? Yeah. Do you know how to get the link? Mm -hmm. Okay so if you open it, mm -hmm. hang on one sec, we'll open it yeah. and then if you click on you found it. Okay she's got it. <laughs> um, yeah so I'm going to flip each one of these over because these ones are just absolutely stunning. So originally I wondered why they were called sun prints, but I didn't know that there's actually a technique where you, someone was explaining it to me, where you put, um, one of our team members actually was explaining it to me, that you put, say, leaf or leaves or like natural matter outside on paper um, under glass, I think she said, and then you leave it there for a certain amount of time and the sun reacts with the image and then you treat it with a special type of solution or something and then you get like this white um design from the actual leaf image or the the foliage whatever it is that you've used 
um yeah it was really interesting i'll have to look it up but it's called it's actually called sun prints that's how that's the name of the technique and so stampin up have made a paper out of that technique which is really beautiful so and we've got even look at this one this one looks like clouds on the background now my ipad has frozen because i've mucked around with it oh here we go okay we're back good good uh that's the back of that one and then we've got this beautiful splatter here as well. But these are gorgeous. If you love blue tones, you will absolutely love this paper. It's so gorgeous. And then we've got this one. We've got like little, um, um, what do you call them? Little Santa Clauses. Little Santa Clauses on there as well as leaves and some foliage. This one looks nice. This one's actually got in the background. You probably can't see it on camera, but in the background, it's actually got font. It's actually got like old script handwriting and then it's like fully distressed. Kind of looks like it's on, um, sort of reminds me a bit of concrete, but it's got this script in the background, which is, yeah, pretty awesome. So these ones have just got some really amazing um, prints. Um, this is grey granite as well. So you've got Knight of Navy, white and grey granite. And then, of course, you can see some um, lighter blues in here as well in the paper. I think we might even have a little bit of um, Starry Sky or is it Orchid Oasis or Tahitian Tide or something in there too. But they're just so pretty. And it's nice to have some neutrals as well. There we go. So that's the Sun Prince paper. So if you love blues and you love foliage, you will love that paper. That's really, really pretty. Now, also something similar to that, we have the Pretty Prints paper. Oh, no worries, Glenda. Oh, you're very welcome. Very welcome. Um, oh, Julie said the Abigail Rose Suite is beautiful, isn't it? It's on your wish list. Yes. It is, yes. I don't have that one yet, um, but it is beautiful, yeah. I look forward to being able to get that one. Kathleen said, I think these would be great for scrapbooking. Yes, I agree. They really would be great for scrapbooking. Okay, the link is in my notes. Okay, so I'll let me grab that link. Is it under, where did you? A new one. A brand new one? Mm -hmm. mm, hang on a minute, it hasn't come up. Um, did you put it under Google Forms? No. no just... It's a new note. Oh, it hasn't come up. Hasn't come up. Are you able to pop it in the comments for us, Amber? No, because Facebook's... Oh, Facebook's being silly. Okay. <laughs> it's all right. We'll get you the link in a moment for the paper share. Um, so, yeah, so these ones have um, some of the same types of prints on them, but these are in the different colours. So we've got, uh, let me grab the colours again for you. We've got Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Evening Evergreen, Gorgeous Grape, Petal Pink, Rich Razzleberry, Shaded Spruce, Soft Sea Foam, Soft Succulent and Sweet Sorbet, all in these ones. So let me show you all of these ones. So we've got this one on the opposite side, which is like one of the ones we had in the blue love that print this one definitely would be beautiful for scrapbooking but you can cut it as well for card making um, but yeah if you're a scrapbooker that's a really beautiful one too we've got this one we've got that on the back then there's this one with the splatter on the back there you go amber has added in the comments just now she's added in the link for the um paper share so if you want to have a look, pardon? I hope it works. <laughs> she hopes it, it works. Uh, hopefully it does. We'll, we'll post it again anyway. So don't be too worried. There's that one again. Look at the colours, the rich colours in this one. Absolutely stunning. So gorgeous. Oh, no worries, Deborah. Oh, Richard's got your dinner ready. Very nice. Lucky you. <laughs> You're welcome. Feel free to come back and watch the replay. 
All right, so these are just gorgeous, gorgeous colours, aren't they? But they're similar to the Sun Prints, um, but just in these other rich, beautiful colours. I love the Evening Evergreen. Such a beautiful green. Oh, this one would be gorgeous for um, grass, scenery, oh, anything. Just really beautiful. So there you go. So there's um, that one. That's the, what's it called again? Pretty Prince. Pretty Prince. Now we've got another one called Perfectly Penciled. And this one, if you love colouring, um, yeah, if you love colouring, um, you will love this paper. And this paper is going to be super, super versatile for um, lots of different lots of different projects. So you've got these um, sketchy penciled images that you can colour in. They would also be great on black and white cards as well. So if you love creating black and white cards, or you can um, have them as a black and white background and then add a pop of colour with your other elements that you add to the card, um, or even just some coloured ribbon or whatever. You can do so many different things. But this one's got some cute little butterflies on it too. Um, this is the reverse side. So very um, geometric type look to it. And you've got some leaves there. Now this one comes in 12 by 12 and you get um, 12 sheets in the pack. It's another floral one there. Some more spots. Always good to have some spots. And I think black and white papers are always a good thing to have in your stash because how many, oh, and stripes. Spots and stripes, I love having black and white spots and stripes in my stash of papers because so many times um, we're just looking for, for that to add to a project. Love this one too. And it's kind of like a distressed look, which looks really cool. These flowers are really pretty too. I don't know what sort of flowers these ones are, but they're pretty. Whatever they are, they look really pretty coloured in. Then we've got some more similar flowers to the ones that we had before. Got a black background there with some um, foliage. And that one again. So they're pretty awesome, aren't they? I've seen some of these already um, coloured in by other demonstrators. They've used their Stampin' Blends to colour them in. And they look absolutely stunning. They look so beautiful. So they'll be great to play with. So that is the Perfectly Penciled Designer Series paper. And this is the last one I have to show you today, which we are coming up on right now. This one is, this one is actually um, specialty paper and it's called Brush Stroke 12 by 12 specialty paper. And I'm hoping that my camera is going to focus Hang on a sec, that's probably my internet playing up. There we go. Oh, no, that's not working now. There we go. All right, so this one, it's this reminds me of the old, oh, um, uh, do, 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 do. Julie said, those flowers remind you of the fancy phases the fancy mm, phases phrases. oh fancy phrases stamp set yes mm. yeah they do yeah i agree julie good pickup so this paper is single sided and it's got like this metallic -y, shimmery effect to it and you can probably see on camera it's got this brushed detail in it you know what it reminds me of it reminds me of the old um wallpaper that used to be around back in like the 70s that had that my mum my friend's mum or my friend's house uh growing up my best friend her mum had this beautiful wallpaper which i loved the wallpaper back then and it was kind of like that it had like that metallic -y sort of textured look through it this is what this reminds me of it's really pretty so it comes in blushing bride night of navy and soft succulent. The soft succulent is really beautiful. But look how beautiful these three colours look together. How pretty are they? So gorgeous. Um, there's three pieces in the pack. This one is not part of, not going to be part of my um, paper share. 
Um, but this is one you can purchase separately because this one only has three pieces in the pack so it wasn't as easy for me to um, split that up into um, quarter packs um, but yeah so that's another one to look out for brush strokes it's really really pretty paper and very shimmery very very shimmery so there you go so there are all the beautiful beautiful papers now remember that any of these products um, you can get in a starter kit. If you want to get them now, you can in a starter kit. Or if you're already a demonstrator, you can get them now on pre-order. Um, or otherwise, you can wait until the 3rd of May to get them when the catalogue launches. And remember about my um, paper share as well. Look out for that. Look out for the link in the comments below. I'll also put that um, in the description so that you've got that. And I'll post about it as well. Um, for my paper share and there'll be the Abigail Rose paper, A Wash in Beauty, Butterfly Kisses, Happy Forest Friends, He's a Man, Hues of Happiness, Lovely in Linen, Perfectly Penciled, Pretty Prints, Sun Prints, Tea Boutique and Textured Chic. So some of those I showed you today, some of them I don't have yet so I haven't been able to show you yet um, but you'll be able to see them in your catalogue. So all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip up tip the camera back um, face to face so that I can say goodbye to you properly. So bear with me for one moment and I'll just do that. Here we go. Okay. Oh, I did those clamps up nice and tight this time, which is good. It meant that it didn't fall. It just makes it a bit harder for me to transition it back again. There we go. Okay. There we go. And we are back. So what did you think about all those new products? Now I'm even, I'm glowing even more now. <laughs> it's hot work showing you all those beautiful new products. So what did you think? Did you like all of those? Let me hold up my um, in colour cards again to show you. Give you those ideas with those in colours. So these two, I should put that one in the middle because that one's coloured, isn't it? The other two are white, white bases. There we go. I've got shadow on my face. Let me do that again. So there's some ideas using those beautiful ink colors. Remember, I'm going to have that ink color club as well. So I'll be posting about that soon. And I've got my um, paper share as well for the annual catalog papers. So look out for that too. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all of those beautiful, beautiful products. Um, so let me know in the comments whose wish list has grown now. <laughs> Uh, I would love to know. Great cards. Thanks, Jenny. I showed them in detail at the beginning when I went through the um, in colours. So if you want to see them in a bit more detail, feel free to go back and watch the replay. Um, still not sure about He's the Man, Roz. Oh, that's okay. Um, if, you, if, you, if you don't really make many masculine cards, maybe it's not for you. That's okay. I, I like it when there's a masculine suite though because I always find it difficult to make um, masculine cards. So when there's a masculine suite or, or masculine um, sort of stamp sets that are geared towards that, um, I usually snap them up because I find that it makes it much easier and I'm not trying to think about what I'm going to use or what papers I'm going to use when I'm doing those masculine cards. But that's okay. It's not for everyone. Um, so that's all right. Maybe when you see projects made with them, that might that might actually change your mind. I find that too. Sometimes when I see a product, I think, yeah, no, it's not really me. I don't I don't really think I'll use it or I don't want that one. And then I see somebody design a project with it or I see different people designing different projects with it. And I think, oh, I've got to have it now. <laughs> so do you, does that happen to you guys as well? Happens to me a lot. Oh, you're welcome, Jenny. Thanks, Rose. Great demonstration of all the new products. Well, of the new products, yes, of some of them. That's only that's only a little snippet of some of them. And um, as demonstrators, there were more on offer to us as well. But of course, you know, got to think about budget and things like that. So I get little bits at a time. So there'll be more coming at some point. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed seeing them all. Thank you all so much for being with me tonight um, or this afternoon slash tonight. It's I feel like it's tonight now because it's not daylight savings anymore and it gets light, uh, sorry, it gets dark really early, which I don't like. 
I like my daylight savings. <laughs> But anyway, have a great week, everyone. I hope that you've enjoyed um, looking at some of those beautiful new products and I can't wait to design some more projects with them to show you. So I'll probably be doing some more demonstrations with those as I um, create projects for you. Um, Fee said, yes, was lovely to see them close up. Ah, you're welcome, Fee. That's great. All right, well, have a great week, everybody. Um, I hope that you all stay safe and well. And I look forward to seeing you again next Monday afternoon at four o'clock. Oh, it's going to be Easter weekend, actually. So I don't know if I'll be on live. I probably will. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing yet. We haven't made fixed plans yet. We'll see. We'll creep up on it. <laughs> But have a lovely Easter, everybody. We're coming up on Easter, so I hope you have a lovely Easter. Um, enjoying some family time, hopefully. And um, we'll work on next Monday. I'll let you know if I'll be live again next Monday. Um, otherwise, it'll be the Monday after that at 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time now because no more daylight savings. So sad. <laughs> but anyway, have a great week. Have a great Easter, and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye.